Hello friends, this video is very important, very important video. If you have problem with developing your fluency, then this is the video for you. This video will give you in-depth psychoanalysis of your mind connected with English. A very important video. I, I just request you to just stick with this video and understand that why your English fluency is not improving and why you leave the course or why you get stressed while developing your fluency and you are not getting the results. The reason why you are not getting the results because of this problem which I am going to explain you. So stick with me, follow me, well <clears throat> have some patience, watch till the end. I am sure that this video will help you to understand the psychology behind developing the fluency. I will tell you in detail how your mind works and how to handle it properly so that you can get better results. Hmm? So let us start here, I will explain you. Okay, here we go, let me explain this concept of circle of concern and circle of influence. This concept is explained by many philosophers and many psychologists. In fact, first of all, let me draw the circle and then you will understand what exactly I'm going to say. Suppose this is one circle. Let us call this as a circle where this is a circle of concern. Concern, you are concerned. Okay, what will come here? Here, uh, things will like uh, those things which you are concerned about. Now what you are concerned about? Here you are concerned about English, okay? You are concerned about developing your fluency. That is your concern. There can be a lot of things here, like your job, your health, your business, your relationships. You are a concern about that. These things will come here, concern, circle of concern, all right? Now, this is circle of concern. We are all concerned about. We we want to change, we want to change. But the reality is, though we are concerned about, we can't change all the things. We are concerned, but we can't change. Here is another circle which we can call, which we can call circle of influence. Influence means what? These are the things which come inside the circle of concern and which you can influence which you can influence, which you can make some change. Let me explain you. For example, <clears throat> here circle of concern is uh, health of your loved ones. Don't worry, this is connected with English. This is not a motivational video. I'll explain you. Health of a loved one, your concern. But can you influence that? No, you can't influence. You are concerned. Now, let us take here is your health your health. Can you influence your health? To some extent, yes. To some extent. Meanwhile, means what? You can go to gym, you can work out, you can take good diet, you can do exercise, meditation, yoga and all. You can influence. But one more circle is there inside. Can you control your health? Unfortunately, you can't control your health. Yeah, true, you can influence, but you can influence, but you can't control. This is called as circle of, I will draw here, control. You can't control. No, you can't control. You can influence your health through workout, but not control. Now see here, what we do is, we don't understand what we can control, what we can influence and what is out of both. You are concerned but you have no influence and no control. These are the things where you have no influence and no control. These are the things where you have influence but no control. And these are the things where you have influence and control. Simple, I hope you are getting it. Simple it is. Let me give you one more example. Suppose there is a child and the mother is insisting that you should study, study, study. The mother can influence the child, influence the child, but the mother cannot control the child. Are you getting it? 
mother can influence the mother can say come on do it do it okay but the mother cannot control the child this we have to understand the mother is concerned about the child's education but she cannot do much she can influence she can give books she can give good internet connection she can give tablet she can hire teachers that is the influence but at the end who has to study this child has to study that is control getting my point now what we do is there are many things which we are concerned about but we don't know don't understand we can influence them or we can control them and we keep on worrying about those things which you can't control or which you can't influence also in certain cases and what do we do we get stressed we get worried about it and this is the reason why what happens is now you are only focused on what things which you can influence you are only sorry you can only you are only focusing on things which you are concerned about but you can't control and when you are focusing on that which you can't control you get stressed and you are not focusing on what you can control epictetus has rightly said he says that a human should understand what he can control and what he can't control and if you are trying to control that which you can't control you will be stressed and depressed and nervous and that is what's happening with english now now understand one thing if you try to control or if you are only worried about things which you can't control things which you can't influence you will be stressed and your focus will be diverted you will be worried and you will not get the desired results why because in your life you are just focusing on that as i said before can't control english communication is the same thing now now see here look at this circle when you are focusing on only like these things which you can control oh i can control my habits if you know what are the english habits if you are my uh, old subscriber you will understand you can focus you can control this you can control your english habits you can focus on your reading skills you, have, you can focus on your listening skills you can focus on participating in different sessions you can focus on vocabulary development that's very nice now what happens this circle starts expanding you are focusing on what you can control you can focusing on what you can influence this circle is expanding and now what's happening you are focusing on all these things now things which are you are in your concern a circle will come it will expand it will expand and things which were out of your concern with they were in your control they were in your concern but they were not in your control will start coming here means what now you become proactive rather than reactive now understand what i want to say is this finally this is the point if you focus on your own habits if you focus on your own english improvement and if you focus forget about results results <clears throat> now see here now see here results okay can you say that results are in your control i repeat again can you say that your english results are in your control english results means what your english fluency i am not talking about subject i am talking about language can you control your language can you control how your language develops and the answer is no you cannot control how a language develops because language development is not in your control it is out of your control it will come here in this area it will come it is in your concern but it is not in your control you can influence it but you can't control it you can influence your language but you can't control your language how to influence your language you can influence your language by developing proper habits proper english habits which i have given in many of my videos if you don't know please watch my videos this is the point those who are great communicators but they are not from native countries native english speakers they don't focus on the results they focus on habits because habits they can influence habits they can control their habits they can control but they can't control language
This is the crux of the matter. And this is what is you have to understand. Most people don't understand this. And this, they make a mistake. They keep on worrying about results, results, results. Why I'm not getting results? I want to speak fluently. I want to speak quickly. I want to speak it very fast. My interview is there. My GD is there after 15 days. My promotion is pending. And this is the mistake they are doing. You don't do that mistake because the more you worry about your English, the more your focus goes off habits. And then you just keep on worrying and struggling and struggling and just panicking and nervous and you go nowhere at the end you leave and say that no English communication is not my cup of tea. So friends this is oh some complicated here but if you watch video again carefully you will understand. So the mantra is this you can't control your language forget that you can focus on habits English habits focus on that language will take care of you don't worry about that it will follow last thing I'll tell you last thing very important enjoy the process enjoy the process and forget the results results will follow you results are byproducts the process is very important when you follow the process results will automatically come but you focus on the results will forget the process you can't focus on the process this is what I wanted to tell you hope dear friends you liked my video write in the comment what do you think about this what's your opinion about this Goodbye. Thank you.